So number one would be solving a, sol or solving a problem with your products. Number two would be bring value added after that. And again, we're talking about natural upsell, what makes people purchase. A lot of competition is always going to happen, whether you're in the market for just by yourself for a month or a year and a half or at three years or 10 years. There's always going to be a competition comes along the line and says, hey, I can do what you do, but better. And they're going to try. The reason why they do that is because they see either a hole in your product or they're offering value in other ways, different color, different price, different, um, you know, different, different different benefit, excuse me. So all of all those different components, you always want to make sure that you're offering the greatest value in one of those capacities, whether it's the best price out in the market, you can't get a better value than what you do here, purchase with me. Or, hey, with our music stand, you get a free ebook or sheet music. Buy with us because you're getting more with us at the same price point than you would our competitor. Or, hey, we have 10, pro 10 colors to select from, our competitor only offers two. Buy from us because you have choice. So always differentiating yourself in the marketplace is super important, especially if you want to continue to grow, diversify, and then take yourself to the next level. So that's where successful people do. They don't just throw it up there. I don't, I'm not going to throw another uh, you know, Android phone on the marketplace because that it's not going to differenti differentiate itself from what's already on the place. But if I say, hey, my Android phone becomes an iPhone magically at night, in between the hours of 10 and two, I don't know, something like that. Um, then you have a, something that's unique to the market and they're like, interesting, tell me more. And then you, you started the buyer process there.